can't believe I'm here. I mean, we've been like, bombarded by tour guides. This is amazing. It's my birthday today, too. Yeah, but I don't think we're gonna get in. Rome has got a lot of good stuff. Spectacular. Oh my God, how did they build this? This is unbelievable. And you know what they say when you throw your coin in? Come back. You'll come back one day. Today we are taking the train from Florence to Rome and back. One of the best day trips ever. Can't wait to see all the Roman architecture Rome is so famous for. Oh yeah, it's also Kathy's birthday today. How many people get taken to Rome on their birthday? Score big points for me. We catch our train at 8 a.m. Pretty excited to go to Rome. You get to see the Colosseum and all the pickpocketers. Hope they're waiting for us. Arriving in Rome, I'm so excited to see the Colosseum. <laughs> Happy birthday, Kathy. Happy it's her birthday, birthday today. To me. She's 25. Happy birthday to me. Happy Rob birthday the cradle. I am. Happy birthday <laughs> to <laughs> you. Happy birthday to me. Waiting in line to get train tickets in like 10 minutes, probably another 10 minutes, and get our subway tickets. And off to the Colosseum. Okay, we just. Uh, Do you want to go directly? No, Stop thanks. It. We just got oh to the God. Colosseum and we've been like, bombarded by tour guides and trying to get us to skip the lines and and we'll save time and it's crazy like at it's least a, a dozen times at least in 10 minutes in 10 minutes or less yeah. it's frustrating i know it's, it's their great. job it's annoying me. it's annoying oh well when you get to the coliseum you'll be approached time and time again for a tour which will bypass the line and take you to the top of the coliseum it's substantially more money so we did not do the tour but we did have to wait in line for one hour to get in. Either way, you do get to see the Coliseum. And I can't believe I'm here. Everything is so surreal to me. Visiting all these incredible historical sites. This building's 2,000 years old. So cool. You read about it in history books. You learn about it in school. But to be actually here is so amazing. Crazy busy though, if you come here. But well worth it. Like This is amazing. This uh, restaurant with this uh, flatbread company it looks really amazing in Rome. Notice in the restaurants they love having pictures of themselves and people in the, on the walls and stuff. And just like at home. Well, we're trying to go to the Vatican City, but I don't think we're gonna get in. Because we gotta pay a fortune and there's like 7,000 people in the lineup. The guy was telling us, I don't know how true that is. You get approached by so many people here in Rome. It's crazy here. It's really just a, a tour guide town from what I've seen so far. We're about to enter St. Peter's Basilica. No, Basilica. Basilica. There you go. Basilica. This guy. Yeah. And uh, let's go we'll see if we can get in. Uh, we can't get into Vatican because it's two hours or something like that. I'm not waiting two hours. I think no. it's over 30 degrees today. So yeah, way too hot. We'll have to see it from the outside. That's okay. Yeah. There it is. St. Peter's Basilica. How do you say it? Basilica. Basilica. St. Peter's Basilica. Right behind me. We're not going to go in though, it's a two hour wait and we just don't have that time. I can't get over how many people are here lined up. There must be, like he said, six or seven, seven thousand people. people lined up to get in. It'd be more than two hours. good stuff and a lot of people a lot of people we're heading over to the Trivoli fountain Woo. I love how traffic works here it's getting us ready for uh, East Asia I think it's like to get the cars to stop you kind of just have to walk out you in the front of them out, and out, hold baby. your hands out and hopefully Go. they stop we just saw someone almost get hit by a BMW 
they stepped out and the car had to slam on his brakes. But it, it allowed us to go, so yeah. that was awesome. Yeah, that worked. Someone sacrificed their life almost for us. The Trevi Fountain in Rome, and wow, is it ever beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, but there is so many people here. Rome is so busy. There's, there's got to be, at each site, at least a thousand people, if not more. And there's at least a thousand here right now. Probably two. But I guess it's worth it. Look how beautiful that is. And you know what they say when you throw your coin in? Come back! You'll come back one day and see it again. Seriously? Yeah. Why? So that means you got a long life to live because we're not coming back anytime soon. Entering the Pantheon, it's uh, built in 27 AD or BC. That's crazy. Is BC older? Or yeah. Is AD older? BC is older, before Christ. Okay. Oh right, because AD is after, after death. death. Yeah. Ah. Oh my God, how did they build this? This is unbelievable. This is one of the most spectacular buildings I've ever seen. This is this is built before the Colosseum. Romans, amazing. How is it possible that they built this, then they built the Colosseum, and there has been many natural disasters and earthquakes over the years, but this one's still standing, and the Colosseum is in ruins. I guess from maybe because of the dome, or the dome, the shape. Maybe. How did they build this, Maya? Like all the pillars are the exact same size. Everything's like perfect. How did they do know. that back then? Nineteen hundred years old. And they made it like they make stuff today, like perfect, symmetrical. Everything's the equal distance apart. Like, how did they do that? I never expected this. This, this building is unbelievable. It's huge. It's it, it looks like it's at least 20 stories, and I don't know how they could build that back then. And the dome is like the it's the largest unreinforced concrete dome in the world. It's, it's crazy and it's it's amazing and then they get this hole in the center of the the roof to let light in and it's bright in here and what a beautiful place it used to be a roman temple and now it's uh, converted to a church and beautiful rome has been spectacular it's a beautiful cities amazing history here and, and buildings and everything is walkable and the train system people are friendly and i, I haven't met so many friendly people in my life Ciao. A day trip to Rome from Florence was a great idea. We got to see most of the sights and had an amazing day. We spent about 10 hours in Rome and then had a nice relaxing train ride back to Florence. If you've never been to Rome, what are you waiting for? And oh yeah, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fun videos. That's a chocolate wall, chocolate fountain. The whole wall is a chocolate fountain. I found it. Oh, you got it. We, we had to break down and get some chocolate, so we each got a piece. Oh, so we're all going to try and see if it's worth it. Please do one. It's worth it. Uh, no good? It has alcohol in it. I don't like that. Oh, no. She got alcohol. Here's some of mine. Good. I believe in those things. I, I, I believe in those things.